The SawStop JobSite Pro table saw is, in my opinion, the best portable saw ever made. It's the best portable table saw available in the market today at any price. It's a beast though, it's big, it's heavy, and portability is the whole point. No matter how good the saw is, if I can't get it easily from job to job, it's of no use to me. I have the smart wood shop and it's really easy for me to roll it right down the aisleway, drive to the job and roll it out onto the job. But what if you work out of a van with a higher bed or a pickup? I'm gonna show you today how easy it is for me to load this saw into a pickup by myself. I'm Ron Polk, and this is the Smart Wood Shop. If you'd like to get a detailed set of plans to build a Smart Wood Shop for yourself or one of my workbenches, link in the description down below. You go to my store, you can purchase the plans and download them instantaneously 24-7, 365. Also in our store, you'll find some affiliate links. If you purchase anything using those links, they'll share a little bit with us, won't charge you any extra, and I can make more of these videos. I've got additional drawers in the bed, which I have to get the table saw on top of those. It would be much easier if I had an empty bed and it was level with the tailgate, I could just put it in and get it right in. I have to get onto the tailgate and then get up on top of the drawers, making it even more difficult. The saw stop weighs 130 pounds, which is fantastic when I'm on the job and set up. I want a heavy duty table saw, but I don't want to be lifting 130 pounds. So I'm going to take advantage of these handles that are the wheelbarrow handles for moving it around. On the ends, they've put these solid caps that, and these aren't little hollow things, they're, they're solid, and they work kind of like ball bearings. I'm going to use them to my advantage. So I'm going to start by just putting the handles on the tailgate, and I'm going to go past that handle just so that I'm not uh, tripping over that. Once I get it there, I'm just going to grab the other side, and I can slide it. You could see if I didn't have those, the raised bed, all I'd have to do is then just lift it a little bit, walk it over that gap, and now I could just get it up on its wheels and slide it right in. But I've got to get it up, so I'm going to, again, use leverage. I'm going to tip it over so that I'll get one handle up, and then I'll flip it and do the other, and then with its sort of sliding, see how easy those help you slide the saw around, and then all I have to do is roll it in. Of course, I don't want it banging around in the truck, so I'd either tie it off or maybe turn it sideways and block it. But again, you can see how easy it is for me to get this all the way up in there. So if you have a truck with just a standard height bed, it's gonna be even easier. Once I get to the job site, unloading it, just reversing the process. If you like these tool tips, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and remember to ring the bell. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Wood Shop. You stay safe and have a great day.